Hello friends, I'm sitting on board Chaitea in beautiful downtown Honolulu in Waikiki and I'm excited to talk to you guys about a solar upgrade that is happening on Chaitea. <clears throat> now in September of 2020 I had shopped around to do my first ever solar install on Tritea and I went with 100 watt on each side panels from Renogy. Um, everything I'd looked at online um, pointed to them being a really good company with reliable solar panels and I knew I wanted to go rigid panels instead of flexible because they they have a lot more efficiency and a longer lifespan. So I went ahead and picked up two 100 watt Renogy panels and um, <clears throat> installed them on a adjustable bracket on the stern rail so that I could move them and angle them to the sun. Now let's cut to August of 2021. I departed Los Angeles for an ocean crossing to the Hawaiian Islands and the trip ended up taking me 32 days because of total steering loss um, about halfway to Hawaii. Now that entire passage I got all of my power needs from these 100 watt solar panels from Renogy and um, they did me right. They took a lot of abuse at sea, waves crashing into them and um, they just kept topping up my battery bank. Um, I think there was only one day where I had to run the engine for about two hours because I'd had like three days of cloudy weather. But all in all, they did an incredible job of keeping up with my power needs across the entire ocean. When everything else felt like it was going haywire, um, I was able to trust my solar. Recently, Renogy reached out to me and said they wanted to sponsor Tritea and make us ambassadors for their brand and we were more than happy to accept uh, considering the amazing quality that we had already experienced with the products that we had bought previously. So today we're going to go ahead and unbox our new 200 watt rigid solar panels from Renogy that they sent us and we'll also take a look at a 3000 watt inverter that they sent along as well. Here they are, super stoked. Let's get into it. Here's the first of the new 200 watt panels. Um, quite a bit bigger than the 100 watt that we got on there and give it as double the power. Um, so let's flip it over and look at the back side. So one of the things I'll be doing to get these Renogy panels ready to install on the rail is um, I had these pieces of marine grade aluminum uh, fabricated at a local fabricator here on Oahu. Um, I need to trim them up to size. I got them a little long so I can make sure I got the right size. And um, I'll be riveting these in in these three spots. So that we can attach our mounting hardware to the back of the panel. Um, it's the same way I did it on the ones that are installed now and it's worked perfectly, so we're gonna go ahead and repeat that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these marked and then um, go from there. Okay, so I got all the brackets transferred from the old solar panel to the new panel. Let's take a look at the pieces and uh, get ready to install this thing. So let's look at the pieces of the solar panel now that I've got everything put together. These are the, um, these are Sea Dog like brackets that you can get. I'm not crazy about these, but it's all I could find that really did what I wanted it to do. 
um, and then those clamp down there's a rubber like insert that's on the uh, rail itself that uh, keeps it snug this is the mount I used to attach to the adjustable pole um, it spins 360 and I think it's originally for Bimini's and um, I'll put a link to all of these parts for my adjustable setup uh, down in the description of this video so if you guys want to kind of put together a similar setup you'll be able to do it um, I had these aluminum 6061 I believe uh, marine grade aluminum pieces made and uh, drilled them out and riveted them into place and those are my my cross beams that hold everything together and um, yeah that's that's it pretty simple so now it's time to get the panel on and uh, button it up. And there we have it, all done with the install of that one. Now I'll pop the other one down, repeat the process with the other side, and um, the solar install is done. The reason I decided to upgrade my battery system from lead acid to lithium was so that I could convert my galley to all electric. Um, I'm going to be taking this old propane gimbaled stove, which um, I previously had an alcohol range on top of, and I never had any kind of stove option. Um, I'm going to be converting this into a gimbaled electric stove with an induction range and a convection air fryer inserted into this. For this, the galley setup, um, I wanted to have a dedicated inverter that just ran that. And then I have a separate inverter that runs the rest of the house stuff. So Renogy sent me one of their 3000 watt inverters. And uh, let's go ahead and pop it open and see what it's all about. And um, this is what's gonna run the entire galley setup. Right off the bat, we have a nice remote switch, which is awesome. It's um, not a lot of companies include the switch. A lot of times that's an, a secondary thing that you have to buy. So that's, that's great that there's a switch that comes with it. Got some stickers, information, our warranty card, and uh, our manual. Oh yeah, look at that, sexy beast. Look at that, nice. Now we're gonna get more into how to install this and the operating features of this inverter once we get into the galley install video section. Uh, but I just want to show you guys this beautiful inverter. Super stoked to have a dedicated inverter with plenty of headroom. Um, I, I will not ever be using 3000 watts of power at once, but it's good to have headroom with things like this, especially when you're running all electric galley. So stoked on uh, checking out this 
super beefy Renogy inverter and um, getting to cook things with renew renewable energy. I want to thank Renogy for the sponsorship and for sending me the panels, taking care of upgrading Tritea's power needs. Um, this is going to do a lot to help us keep our new lithium bank topped up. So I'm very excited and very grateful to Renogy. Make sure you check those dudes out at Renogy.com and there'll be links to everything down below in the description. I am super stoked. Those things are tried and true on this boat, so I'm excited to step it up a little with the same company and um, look forward to showing you guys in the field how it all works out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any questions about the install or the panels or anything, hit down in the comments and I'll respond. And yeah, pretty stoked. Fair winds until next time.